morning it is Wednesday I know you guys can barely see me but anyway I am on my way <clears throat> to work for these three little hours and then come home and work the rest of the day very ridiculous anyway it's freezing out here you guys it is 39 degrees and I wore leggings under my skirt today because it's cold and I actually thought I had to go get gas this morning but apparently I filled up already which I don't remember I hate going to the gas station you guys I don't know if I told you guys this probably have because I know I've complained about going to the gas station before but I absolutely hate going to the gas station and it's a necessity I feel like it's not a waste of time because you actually need it but it's like time out of my schedule to get gas I just want the gas to already be in there and that'll never happen so yeah and then I'm gonna go get coffee I'm gonna go to Starbucks so yeah all right you guys let's get going it's just so cold I could just do this for my home y'all why why I don't get it don't get it at all. It's control. Control. Yes, control. Because we're not fully remote. Alright. Let's go to work. Here I got you guys at this horribly bad angle. But as you can see, I am at Starbucks getting my coffee. And yes, I'm one of the ones who loves pumpkin spice. Yeah, Edna, if you're watching this, don't come for me because I just love pumpkin. When it's kind of bright I feel like everyone's looking at me anyway when I was younger I never had pumpkin in my life the family would always have sweet potato pie and I just didn't grow up eating pumpkin and there's a lot of foods that I did not grow up eating that I love now and I'm thinking why didn't my mom cook this I don't know she just didn't maybe she didn't like it so she didn't cook it for us I don't know I'm not that way but I have an aunt who she would always say pumpkin pies for white people don't come for me her words not mine and so a lot of times when you're younger you go off the biases and the thoughts of like the older people in your family so because the older people in my life did not like pumpkin pie i'm thinking it's gross and nasty okay which let me tell you pumpkin pie and pumpkin flavor pumpkin anything is not a white people let me throw that out there don't come for me because like I said it's not my words so anyway as I got older and I'm at work and it's Thanksgiving and somebody brings in a pumpkin pie I honestly I told them I said I've never tried pumpkin pie before and they're like just try it Michelle it's really good and put some whipped cream on it and it was a Costco pumpkin pie and if y'all know anything about Costco pumpkin pie it is delicious even though it's from Costco so tried it and ever since then I have loved love 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 pumpkin pumpkin flavored things and yeah I'm a pumpkin lover all right I'm about to pull up to the front it's the next day y'all the last clip that you guys seen of me in my car I vlogged yesterday I vlogged not a lot but I vlogged here and there after that so what had happened was when I left Starbucks I thought I turned my camera off and I'm sure I did but who knows I was pressing buttons apparently because I guess the next time I picked up the camera to record I didn't notice this but I was recording in time-lapse and I have like the sound off of my camera so I don't hear any beeping or anything like that. So I go on about my day at work. I come home, I vlog a little bit. And after work, we didn't have Bible study last night. So after work, I ran a few errands and I did pull up my camera here and there. All of it recorded in time lapse. And I don't know how to convert the video back. And I looked it up and I guess there is, if I think it's on ProShare, but I don't have that editing software. So yeah, it's like I lost everything that I had for you guys yesterday. And I know y'all probably like, um, she can't prove it, so she probably didn't do it. Well, you're just gonna have to take my word for it. Anyway, it is Thursday and I'm on my last break at work. 
and I was just reading and I'm reading House of Leaves. I think I told you guys that I'm reading. This is my next book that I'm reading. I'm not that far into it. And the guy that was in Barnes and Noble who told us about the book, I see what he means about it's a hard read. It's not hard to read, but it's just a lot. When I read this book, I have to be focused on this book. I can't, I mean, I'll have music or the TV on in the background, but I can't be like trying to focus on other stuff and read and, or if the girls are in here talking and trying to involve me in the conversation, usually I can read and focus on them. This book, it's insane, y'all. This book is basically, it's, um, it's about a, a creepy house. That's basically what it is. And I really haven't gotten to the creepy house part. I've gotten to like the suspenseful, the suspenseful part. It's basically a journal about a book, about a film, about a terrifying house. That's how YouTube describes it because I actually had to go on YouTube and Google how to read House of Leaves because, let me show y'all, this book is insane. And by insane, I mean, it's good. So, ooh, I haven't even gotten this far. Oh my goodness, let me show you guys this. So I'm not on this page yet, but look at this. Some of the stuff is backwards. I mean, is that even in English? I can't even tell. Yes, it is. You have to go to a mirror to read it. And look at the footnotes, how it's turned sideways. This one's upside down. So with this book, I'm right here. With this book, the footnotes are, if you think you can skip them because it's just telling you about what the reference is, mm, that's not always the case. For example, here it is showing where they got their information. However, some footnotes, like right here, after you're done reading, the footnotes here, it's a whole story. And it's like, okay, do you continue reading the footnotes, which is still here, still the story, still the footnote, still the footnote, even though it it seems like to me it starts a new chapter. I don't know. It's kind of weird, but it's like, and then the story picks up here. So do you read all of the footnotes, including the one on the bottom, and then continue here? But what I've been doing is when I come to the footnote, I'll continue reading the footnote and then I'll go back to the last actual story to remember what I last read and then continue on to the next story. And it's just, it's this book is very interesting and I'm loving it. And YouTube also said, which makes sense, if you get the audio version of this, it's not going to be the same. It won't give the same effect. And every time the word house is written in this book, it's in this color so yeah you guys that's the book I am reading now but I only have a couple more minutes on my break so yeah that's what I'm reading now and Carol if you see this and because I know you like to read as well but I don't even know if this is your type of reading but if you have read this book let me know if you plan on getting it and after you read it let me know what you think because yeah it's it's a very intriguing an interesting read. This is the lazy Michelle way of making enchiladas. And this is diced. 
olives. I accidentally grabbed the wrong one, but I still used it. So I'm gonna stick it in the oven now. But yeah, don't come for me, y'all. Y'all, these enchiladas, it is so good. More like an enchilada lasagna, cause I layered it. But anyway, it is so good. It's the best I've ever made. And it's, this is just the best. I'm not that hungry tonight. And I had a salad with it also. And the girls are at a church event. So yeah, Cheyenne will eat when she gets back. And Savannah, cause y'all know she's vegan. She just has something different. So. So let me show you guys something. So you know how that side went out and I fixed it? Well, something told me to go ahead and buy this side because who knows and just to have it on hand. I wish I would have listened because look, nothing. And yes, I know that's there. I'm going to actually fix that and tuck it back in when I get the new part. And I ordered the part already. I ordered it like two weeks ago because that happened two weeks ago. I just never showed you guys, but it's still in China. It's on back order. So who knows when we'll get it. But yeah, this side went out. I can't believe it. They fucking forgot my birthday. Movie of the night. Hello! <laughs> I'm at Savannah's job, that's why you guys are in a weird angle. <laughs> sorry you guys, I'm sorry you at that angle, but I'm telling her what to do at her job. <laughs> And yes, I do get free car washes at Nissan, but 
that's just like a Rudy Poo car wash and this one is way better. Okay, so it's closed off right now, but here's my chimney and I absolutely love it. This was one of my favorite things when I bought the house and it actually wraps around, hold on. It wraps around here into my hallway and there, right? Okay, pretty big chimney. Well, at least on the outside. The inside, I guess they call it the firebox, I think. I think that's what they call it. It's not so big. So, as you know, or if you don't know, when I bought the house, I didn't even think about using a fireplace. I, I was like, yeah, one day, but because I wasn't used to using one, I don't know, I was kind of like apprehensive, which is not hard to use a fireplace at all. So anyway, when I finally did it, I got it cleaned because I didn't know when the previous owners last cleaned it, right? So the guy cleaned it, inspected it, told me everything was fine. So he came again that next year, cleaned it, told me everything was fine again. So this time, I mean, we use it quite often and I'm looking at it and I showed you guys earlier the cracks. Now I did mention those cracks to the guy previously. He told me, oh, it doesn't go all the way through and he pushed on it and he was like, see how it gives? No, that's fine. Not true, y'all. So anyway, this company, I researched the company went on Yelp and Google whatever and seen their reviews and they came highly recommended or whatever. I keep thinking I'm hearing something. I'm home alone. The girls of course at a church function. Um, if you guys are wondering why they're always at a church function and not me, it's because they have a lot of youth events. I am not youth, I am 51. So I'm definitely not youth. Anyway, Hold on. Anyway, so the guy came in and cleaned, and the first thing I told him, I said, hey, I want you, I know you're going to, you know, clean it and everything, but, you know, I want you to make sure these cracks are okay, because, I don't know, I just had some kind of weird feeling, and I'm glad I went with my gut. Anyway, if you guys get a gut feeling or something just pops in your head and it won't go away, listen to it, because when he was cleaning it, I'm thinking everything's fine, okay? So he called me in because I was actually working. And he called me in. He said, hey, I want to tell you something. I said, bad news? And he said, yes and no. He said, these cracks could have started a chimney fire. So I guess underneath where I showed you guys that where it's cracked, it's cracked all the way to the metal. And it gives, that's not a good sign like the guy told me. And I don't know, I'm not a chimney cleaner, so, you know, if someone's going to tell me something's good, I take your word at it, word, word for it, right? So, he said, because it gives, and he said, it's cracked on the bottom as well, and I couldn't really see it that well on the bottom, because I do clean out my chimney after every time that I, you know, we light a fire, but the tiny little cracks, ash would fall into it, and because the guy told me it was fine, I thought it was fine. Anyway, so he told me past that whatever it's called that I showed you guys earlier is metal there and underneath. And then past that is wood. And then the brick is around it. If that metal gets too hot because the actual fire is touching it, it can cause the wood to catch on fire, which can cause a chimney fire. Yeah, when he said that, I'm like, oh, nope, we're not doing this. We're not using it. So he did clean it because he said in order for them to fix it, it has to be cleaned, which makes sense. Okay, so he cleaned it for me today. He gave me a estimate and I'm actually going to have him come back at the beginning of the year because it's going to be $1,200 for them to um, fix it. And they can't just like repair it, like seal it or anything like that. They literally have to, he told me, take that whole back part off in the base and also, my fireplace is also a gas fireplace, which means that you can light it without using the logs. I have never used it because anytime when it comes with gas and electricity, even though that's not electricity, you know what I mean? I just don't deal with. So, yeah, it's 
he said he'll probably be here for a quite a bit of time you know to replacing that so he actually told me he said um i'm gonna deem this unusable but it's your house you could do whatever you want he said but i wouldn't use it it was my house i'm taking his word for it because now that i know it's different that i didn't know before and i was lighting it and whatever but now that i know i don't think so so yeah that's gonna be closed and shut and it's sad because i really wanted to use my fireplace tonight and since we've been using it we're used to it now and christmas time you know having a fireplace going it's okay it's okay because i rather have a house and have our lives than to worry about you know doing this and the possibility of it catching on fire so yeah you guys that's the news that i got today so Yes, very disappointing. I can't complain because that's not my only source of getting heat in the house. Um, I do have central air and heat. Thankful for that. So I won't be seeing a fire in my fireplace for at least a couple of months. Because like I said, I'll do it after Christmas. That way give me a little bit to save up the money. All that to say, won't be starting a fire in there anytime soon. I'm not taking any chances now that I know. my eyes are watering and just like that it's evening time it's five o'clock it's almost dark outside and we did go to church um, church was amazing um, came home and I slept like three hours and the girls are still sleeping right now oh my goodness you guys it was a much needed nap but I did not expect or plan to sleep that long i wanted to get up sooner i'm about to make me some ginger tea because i just like ginger tea with a little bit of lemon in it it's so good and then i don't know what i'm gonna do sure can't have a fire can't get mad no, i'm not mad i'm not upset at all i mean it is what it is and we have other sources of heating the house, central air and heat. Thank God for that. So, yeah. Oh my goodness, you guys. I'm so tired. All right, let me go make my tea. Y'all, it's only six o'clock and I'm laying in my bed. I don't know why this time the daylight savings is not agreeing with me it's really throwing me off i had a three hour nap y'all i should not be tired still but no here i am in bed because i feel like i need some more sleep but then that's dangerous because i have to get up at 5 45 for work tomorrow so what if i get up or wake up around one and feel refreshed and can't go back to sleep yeah that's not good i try to force myself to stay up as long as I can maybe I'll try to read but then if I read I'll get even more sleepier anyway y'all I put my bed on the floor I have a box spring and a mattress and the mattress is pretty thick and has a pillow top on it as well so I seriously got tired of my bed squeaking because I'm thinking well first let me before I completely get rid of the mattresses let me see if it's the box spring that squeaks because you know sometimes the box screen will have that cardboard in it that rubs against the wood and makes noise so i did that and the actual mattress is not making any noise other than normal mattress sounds you know when you sit on it or whatever so it's not my mattress or the box spring it's the bed because y'all hear that yeah and i have the <laughs> 
the slats of the bed is that what you call them on the floor over there i'm in this group on facebook that's like um where you can put things for people to take for free when i do get ready to get rid of this bed i already took a picture of it i'm going to see if somebody wants it and give it away for free and if not then it's going to the dump because I don't have a truck or anything like that to take it to Goodwill and I just want to get rid of it it's so noisy and I think I told you guys I just don't like it anymore it's to me it's a huge eyesore I just I don't like it when I look at it I think it's ugly and it's funny because when I first seen this bedroom set and I know I'm rambling but I'm trying to stay up y'all so help me anyway when I first seen this bedroom set I got it at Beck's Furniture if you guys know anything about Beck's Furniture here um, I don't know if you have one where you live but anyway I walked by it and I looked at it and then I backed up and I just kept looking and went to look at other stuff and I came back to it so I really liked it I fell in love with it I love it and look at the dressers and blah 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 whatever now I'm looking at it and it's like this is hideous but I'm entitled to have my opinions change and my mind change so yeah all right y'all I don't know okay let me find something to do so I won't go to sleep if I try to put on a movie it will end up watching me so I probably should sit up and go do something or go do something I wish I had something to do with my hands I don't have anything to do with my room my dressers are painted so it's taken me a long time to really get what I want so I think I know the bed that I want to get so I'm kind of waiting to see if the price is going to go down on one of them and I know a lot of time the beginning of the year they have furniture sales so maybe I'll wait till then I don't know I'm just I don't know y'all and then I don't know what type of rug I want to get I've been scrolling and scrolling on Amazon and different websites to find a rug that I feel that I want to put in here y'all it just takes me a long time to find stuff I don't want to get it and then in a month's time looking at it I'm like ew this is ugly and spend more money to get something else you know and if I shooting off fireworks and if I did, you know, that's my prerogative, but I'm not trying to spend money like that. So, yeah, okay. I've been rambling for six minutes. Okay, let me find something to do because I really need to stay up, y'all. It's 620. 620. And I'm laying in bed. I slept so long I feel refreshed but I'm not gonna show myself right now because yes I brushed my teeth and washed my face but I look a mess but I'm showing you this because I'm actually about to take down the fall decorations because we are putting up the Christmas decorations this weekend and it is now 601 today is Friday yes I do work today but today is my late day I don't start until 730 so let me get up and do some things okay all done and before i put anything on this table again i'm gonna wash this because it's just time and now i'm gonna do the ones in the living room and i'm trying to be as quiet as possible because 
the kids are still asleep. It's very early in the morning, and yes, they do work today. So, yes, I'm gonna try to do this as quietly as possible. Okay, so I'm all done, and everything is in the one box. I only have one box of fall decorations, and if I get more, then I'll get more bins, but for now, everything fits into this one bin, and I will put this back out in the garage later when I bring in all the Christmas stuff. So I will not put nothing up now because we're going to be decorating for Christmas. So yeah, and when we do Christmas, everything gets pushed over, that gets moved, and yeah, it's like a whole deal. You guys see me do it before, so yeah, all done. And now let me go read my Bible and do my devotions. I did it backwards today. Usually I do my Bible reading and, you know, daily um, devotions first thing. But I don't know. Today I just didn't. But yeah, let me go do that now. I still have time. It is, let's see, 620. And like I said, I don't start work until 730. And I do work from home today. So I have time. Thank you.